DARPA's ancillary, electric-powered, vertical takeoff and landing drone. Drones are playing a key new role in warfare, and the Pentagon's research and development arm wants to push the state of the art. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is exploring the idea of a vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, drone that can take off and land from a space as small as a dining room table. The drone, known as ancillary, takes off like a helicopter or something like a helicopter, and flies like a conventional airplane. The new drone concept is called Advanced Aircraft Infrastructure Less Launch and Recovery, or Ancillary for short. Ancillary's chief innovation is that it's a larger drone that doesn't need a runway for takeoffs and landings. Ancillary is a tail sitter, using its three propellers to take off and land vertically. Once airborne, DARPA's latest wonder unfolds a pair of wings, rotates 90 degrees, and flies like a regular airplane. Ancillary will forsake regular gas-powered turbines for a hybrid electric system plus high-density batteries or fuel cells for power. Electricity-driven motors powered by batteries still don't produce as much energy as their gas-powered counterparts, making a lightweight design the key to a vertical takeoff and landing drone with extended range. DARPA thinks it can accomplish that with advanced structures and new manufacturing technologies. The ability to take off and land from small spaces means a number of things. First, it means that ancillary could take off and land from virtually anywhere, and its requirement to operate in adverse weather means it could take off and land at virtually any time. This will allow ancillary to operate from places a 12 to 15 foot long drone traditionally has not operated before, like the flight deck of an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, or the forward operating bases manned by friendly ground forces. That, in turn, opens those naval and ground forces up to using a more capable drone with a larger payload. Ancillary's small footprint, combined with a DARPA requirement that the drone be inexpensive and easily manufacturable, means that drone operators will be able to deploy more of the drones at forward locations. For example, the DARPA video shows one of two hangars on the Burke-class destroyer filled with up to eight ancillary drones. That leaves the second hangar open to embark an MH-60R Seahawk helicopter, or another eight drones, for a total of 16. The new drone's concept of operation also opens up new missions. This video shows the typical intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance mission assigned to drones, but it also shows an ancillary drone used as a cargo transport, with the drone delivering supplies by landing on a dimly lit stretch of road. It also shows ground forces unpacking and deploying a drone before heading through a mountain pass, where enemy forces could be waiting in ambush. A small footprint vertical takeoff and landing drone would bring mass and greater capabilities to even smaller unit levels. A destroyer equipped with 16 drones could hunt submarines across a wider area more efficiently than two crewed helicopters. Using artificial intelligence and swarming techniques, the drones could plant snowboys and then prosecute enemy subs with a lightweight homing torpedo. Or, the destroyer crew could load the drones with air-to-ground munitions and attack targets on land. An ancillary drone could also allow small ground outposts to keep watch over larger stretches of terrain even difficult terrain with relative ease. Over the past two decades, drones have dramatically changed the face of war. Today, the need for drones is often serviced by some distant airbase over the horizon, one with the logistical and engineering requirements to service them. Ancillary promises quicker, more responsive drone support for whatever the task may be. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.